the forehead of your robot. In the early 2000s, many children across the United States eagerly awaited the weekends to catch their favorite shows on the kids' WB programming block. It was a time filled with animated adventures, colorful characters, and cherished memories. However, amidst the laughter and excitement, there exists a peculiar and chilling tale surrounding a mysterious event, known as the CW Anomaly. This creepypasta delves into the unnerving story behind the anomaly, and its connection to an enigmatic virtual analysis line. It was a typical Saturday morning when I settled down in front of the television, eagerly anticipating the start of the kids' WB block. The familiar characters from my favorite shows brought a sense of comfort and joy. However, this particular day would forever alter my perception of those cherished cartoons. As the clock struck 9 a.m., the familiar kids' WB logo appeared on the screen. Yet, something was amiss. The colors seemed distorted, and there was an eerie hum emanating from the speakers. I dismissed it as a technical glitch at first, assuming that the signal would stabilize soon. Little did I know that a sinister force lurked behind the scenes. As I later discovered through online forums and whispered rumors, this anomaly was attributed to the virtual analysis line, VEL, a mysterious and little-known technology developed by an obscure research group. According to the urban legends, the VEL was an experimental program, designed to analyze viewers' reactions to specific scenes during kids' WB shows. It utilized cutting-edge virtual reality and neural interface technology, supposedly collecting data on the emotional responses of young viewers. However, the VEL's true purpose and the organization behind it remains shrouded in secrecy. The CW anomaly was said to have occurred during the airing of several specific episodes on Kids WB. Viewers reported strange occurrences, ranging from minor glitches to outright terrifying moments. These experiences included 1. Visual distortions. The animation would warp and twist, characters' features morphing into grotesque shapes. Backgrounds became twisted and surreal, distorting the once familiar landscapes. 2. Sinister audio. The characters' voices turned distorted and unnaturally deep, their innocent laughter replaced with haunting, barely discernible whispers. The background music became dissonant and discordant, evoking a deep sense of unease. 3. Cryptic messages. Viewers claimed to have witnessed hidden messages and symbols flashing on the screen for brief moments. These messages were often cryptic and unsettling, leaving a lingering sense of dread. 4. Unsettling scenes. Innocent storylines took disturbing turns, with characters engaging in horrifying actions or displaying disturbing behaviors. The comforting worlds of beloved cartoons became twisted nightmares. The CW anomaly did not go unnoticed. Parents began reporting concerns about their children's behavior after watching kids' WB shows. Nightmares, anxiety, and even claims of temporary memory loss were reported. Despite these reports, the Vel and its connection to the anomaly remained mere speculation, as no concrete evidence of its existence ever surfaced. The CW anomaly during the kids' WB block is a chilling creepypasta that delves into the eerie events that supposedly occurred during specific episodes of kids' WB programming, from visual distortions.